All right, uh, we're back with uh, Latvian Dragon Physdix for. It's Fidiski. What was. Oh, what? Yeah, yeah. It's Fidiski. I know, it's hard for Fidiski. All right. Fidiski. Fidiski. All right, all right. All right. What was the name of this ep episode? Okay, the episode's name The Elder. It's again animated by Trigger. The the it was directed by it was directed and written by Masahiko Otsuko Utsuka. It takes place between 832 BBY to and to 32 BBY, but it's definitely considered more like like some uh, hundred years after like the last Sith War. Yeah, I kind of got the impression that this was kind of like a High Republic era type thing. Yeah. Luckily, there's no uh, sentient stones. So we might <laughs> <Geode>. be lucky. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, okay. The main characters are uh, two Jedi, a master and apprentice. The master is Taiji Cro Crosser, and he's voiced by David Harbour, which you... Well, you might know as uh, the uh, the cop in the sheriff in Stranger Things, Hellboy. In the, uh... Wait, he was voiced. He voiced the, or played that guy. Yeah. Well, I I, I love this, that show. I got. I still have yet to see uh, season three. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and and you know, I... that Jedi Master. You know who he reminded me of? Yeah. <laughs> What, what's cool. the name of, of that uh, eraser head from uh, My Hero Academia? He, he looked just like him, like if he was a Jedi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It also reminded me of Qui Gon. Yeah, a mix of him and Qui Gon. Yeah. And the his and the pet one is Don G Givash, voiced by Jordan Fisher. And. And I would say, like, his voice is way better than the Japanese version because the Japanese version uh, voice sounds way older. <laughs> it, it does? Yeah. yeah. People complain about, like, the English dub always having miscasts, but Japan... Uh, yeah, you is... gotta be fair, you know. Sometimes yeah. it happens with the Japanese. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so this episode involves they're kind of like it implies they're kind of like patrolling the outer rim and the master yeah. senses a disturbance in the force yeah so they're t uh, so they land in a pl uh, some planet named Habo yeah that's the name Habo <laughs> okay, they investigate uh, uh, they realize there's some kind of weird elder elder man that it's in this uh, land from a different clan, whatever that means. So like they split up. Uh, it's kind of like from a different village. That's yeah. yeah. Taj uh, Taiji discovers the ship, and Dan discovers the elder. And Ooh. first, when they discover the ship, he, he's like, oh, this is from, like, a the Sith era. And... Yeah. Man, he kind of reminded me of a dark side version of Yoda, but if he was a human. Yeah. He <laughs> definitely feel like Palpatine and Yoda... Do yeah, Palpatine do and Yoda mixed in together in a blender. Yeah. <laughs> and his lightsabers are... Katana, uh, Katana inspired. You know, in some <laughs> shots they kind of look like Shoto's, and, and but then in some shots they kind of look longer. So yeah, I bet they're kind of like dual phase. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's this one is probably has the best lightsaber duel. Uh, it, it, it was like slow but fast at the same time. You know, yeah. if you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Mixing, uh, like, the type of speed we'd see in, like, you know, A New Hope, the battle, the duel between Vader and Obi-Wan, and then the faster prequel stuff. Yeah. It's different. 
Yeah, it's definitely interesting that it's made by Trigger. It doesn't resemble any Trigger uh, anime made by Trigger. It's more feel like something made by Madhouse or or something like from Afro Samurai. Or or it kind of felt like it could be like Avatar or something like that, The Last Airbender. Yeah. Like that style of animation. Also like uh, also like a question if Elder is actually a Sif or not, which he kind of says he probably he once was. And if so I, uh, if I, if I was to headcanon that he might be like a failed rule of two Sith apprentice, or he might actually be one of the guys that survived Darth Bane's death of the old Sith, and like he used like something like a uh, Sith magic to to live uh, for some hundred years, something yeah, like yeah, to extend his life. Like even after he was uh, stabbed, he still like had something to like uh, to sell so energy to blow up the ship, and then he crumbled the dust. Yeah, that sort of reminded me uh, a little bit of Skeleton Githany, like a less gr- gruesome version of that. Yeah, because <laughs> he just like turned. It looked like he turned to coal and dirt, whereas G- Githany was like this shriveled walking thing with barely any skin holding her together and one eye and then she's fell yeah. in a part in a pile of dust and bones Ugh. yeah <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, that's creepy yeah i can't believe i had the guts to share that on the server <laughs> i'm scared to scroll up and look at it <laughs> jesus <laughs> did you think that the Padawan died. No, well, he lived, but well, like at was, first. Yeah, he. Yeah, when I first watched it, I thought, yeah, he, I, I kind of believe like they all died, so no, no other Jedi figure out what actually happened. But yeah, kind of like uh, how in the second Darth Bane book, they're like, oh yeah, there's the Jedi found out about Bane and Zana, and they went to go after them. But then, you know, most of the Jedi died, so they weren't able to tell tell anyone about their survival. Like, yeah. oh, sorry, my my grandma had to ask me a question. Yeah. So anyway, so, yeah, it could have been okay. something like that, which. But, you know, it it would be kind of weird, like, if this was, which is kind of a good thing that this isn't canon, because they they would know, like, oh, yeah, the Sith is still around and all that, but, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Um, uh, what do you think of uh, what do you think of the episode? Uh, yeah, um, take your time. Sorry, I'm eating right now. You guys can talk, uh, right? Just try and uh, uh, we already finished uh, talking, okay? Um, yeah, we're just waiting on you, man. Well, um, this is something that I have a problem with, like, specifically with the villains, but I guess you can say this with other characters, and it's mostly due to the fact that you're not really given, they're not really given too much time to really develop on these, but it just feels, it's, the characters, I don't feel like the characters are really being developed enough in order to really have a true personal connection with any of them. Like, if we skip through so many stories all at once, like, how many stories are in Visions? It's not, it's gonna... It's not gonna feel as impactful as someone you're gonna have when you're going through like three trilogies of like a film, especially with the villain. Like, how many villains in Visions have just been like killed off, or like you didn't even really know what their personalities were, or like what 
was even motivating them in the first place. Yeah, you you at least need to make these episodes forty five minutes long yeah. to get something. I say, I say we need to. They it shouldn't just be short stories. It should be a, a series so we can actually develop more of the character. That that's the one problem. And you know, I have a personal theory that this could be a test bed because I know in the nineties when Cartoon Network was doing original stuff, they would kind of like show random cartoons that people made as like a one episode. And the ones that were the most popular would get made into their own series. This could be a test bed for that. Like, okay, I'd like to see like the Ninth Jedi, or something like that, expanded into a series. Yeah. And in well, fact, I was going online and reading articles, and there, there was also a someone had a theory about that as well. Yeah. It definitely, <laughs> yeah. Some of these feel like uh, pilots to a series. Some feel like an ac- an actual short. Like definitely something like uh, episode one is like a short. Yeah. yeah. You know what's funny about episode one is that one actually got a book expanding upon it. Yeah. I kind of wish like we have a, mo- a short manga or a novel explaining the elder. Because he seems yeah, like... Yeah, that's... A- that has a lot of potential. Like, if they're doing a book, they should do a, a manga about some more, some more of the stuff. And you know, of course, it doesn't like like visions itself. That stuff doesn't have to be canon. It just can be its own thing in, in that universe. So, Let's see. Uh, <clears throat> Any other uh, thoughts? Okay. Well, I've ran out of things to say. Uh, kind of felt like Avatar. Yeah, yeah, it did. Like, I brought up the animation style. It, it basically was. <laughs> if you made all the characters benders, it would just fit. Like, the, the Padawan could be like uh, a water bender. The master could be like an earthbender, and then the Sith could be like the firebender. It just fits so well. But it, my uh, overall cl- conclusion, I think most of this was just you know to test how animation styles would be like and stuff with Star Wars, just fitting that aesthetic. And I think like you can say that that's like you know because George Lucas was originally inspired by like, Japanese films back in like the fifties. So, it's interesting to see the adaption between them and how they contrast with each other. But other yeah, than, other than and that, also the two thousand three Clone Wars was also inspired by a lot of stuff regarding anime as well. Mm-hmm. And um, but you know it's you know mostly just visuals. Yeah. So. <laughs> I guess I'll end this review here, and yeah. I'll see you whenever, whenever we get around to the rest of the episodes. Yeah. Atavi Sim. Iron Inquisitor, signing off.